<laughs> hey guys, it is Tech Genie back again with another video. Uh, I am very sorry we haven't uploaded any videos recently, but school has just started and we've just been getting back into all of that. But we are back and we're going to try and upload some videos whenever we can when there's some new events coming out. And we thought this is a pretty big event and you guys would need to be updated on it. Um, so this is all about the new iPhone 6S. So we don't have one of them. I'm hoping towards the end of the year we will get hold of one of them and we'll be able to do a proper in-depth review on it. Until then, we're going to do first a sort of a look on it and then we're going to compare the design and stuff to later models of iPhones that we do have with us currently. So then, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we're going to talk about today is the camera. Now, the reason we have these two phones here is, as I said earlier, was we're going to compare certain aspects on the iPhone 6S to the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5S. So, if you look at the iPhone 4S and 5S, they both have a backward-facing camera of 8 megapixels. Now, although um, the megapixels is not the most important thing on a camera, obviously loads of different things are, um, the megapixel count is obviously quite important. What they've done on these phones is obviously they've changed the sensors and stuff, which means the camera has improved, because obviously the 5S is better than the 4S. However, now that they have introduced the 12 megapixel camera on the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus, you will be able to shoot 4K video, um, and then obviously the camera just taking photos will be a lot better. Moving on to the front-facing camera, on both the iPhone 4S and 5S, they have, um, I believe, a 5 megapixel camera. Now, on the um, iPhone 6S, introduced a better camera on the back, but done nothing with the front. However, they have obviously changed sensors and stuff in the front, meaning the front-facing camera is better, so you can take more of those on selfies. Moving swiftly on, we're now going to talk briefly about the uh, processor in the new iPhone 6S. So the iPhone 6S now has an A9 uh, chip inside it, which obviously means much more better things, like faster CPU and faster GPU. Now, I claim that the CPU is 70% faster and the GPU is 90% faster. None of that means anything to me, but if it means anything to you, congratulations on succeeding in life. So now we're going to move on to the design of the iPhone 6S. So the 6S, all the S models are the same as the uh, previous design. So the 5 is the same as the 5S, the 4 is the same as the 4S. Uh, so the 6S is obviously the same as the 6. However, there are a few uh, minor details that have changed, maybe not in the look, but the general construction of the phone. So you may remember um, the iPhone 6S, uh, the iPhone 6 Plus, uh, had a lot of problems with bending. Now, uh, briefly just going to explain what they've done to the iPhone 6S uh, and the 6S Plus, is they've changed the aluminium uh, construction. So the uh, old one was made out of 6th grade aluminium, uh, and the new one is made out of 7th uh, grade aluminium. And basically what this means is like doubly as strong. So unlike the, uh, all the other series of phones, there is now a whole new colour to suit your colouring needs. Okay, so there is a rose gold variant of the iPhone 6S now. Um, it kind of is more pink than rose gold, but um, if that's what you want, you can get it. So the final thing we're going to mention today on the iPhone 6S is the uh, Force Touch. Now on the Apple Watch they have this Force Touch and they use it for many wonderful magical things, um, which we have not gone into as I mentioned before. Okay, so the Force Touch obviously opens many doors to many things. Okay, so the Force Touch on the iPhone 6S obviously opens up many opportunities uh, for programmers. Just uh, naming a few things that they've done currently, there's a few, um, what you can do is you can take a photo and you can preview uh, your photos just by forcing down onto the image button and then you can scroll through all the photos you've just taken, which is fairly useful I'd say. Um, obviously then again in different apps you can do it so you can go on to, uh, I think you can go onto messages or something, hold it down and maybe send a message straight from there without having to open the app. Um, so it opens a lot of opportunities. So the iPhone 6S has this force touch available um, and obviously in the future we'll see a lot more things coming out of it that will be more useful. Um, obviously there's a whole new uh, iOS 9 on it that we uh, can review which we will do in the future when it comes out. But up until then, this is Tech Genie over. Um, I hope you enjoyed this short video on a quick preview of the iPhone 6S, and hopefully we will have one of them soon to possibly review for you. Um, and in the meantime, we'll have other videos coming up for you to enjoy. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Thanks. It's fine. <laughs> Don't deal with it.